kitchen table. <laughs> I feel like an old man. And I don't know where the forks are, so we're eating with a spoon. But hello, everybody. How is everything? I have tried to make at least three different vlogs within this past week. Just because I was doing my little, my introvert activities and um, I thought that it was pretty fun, but this was the only footage that I got before I got lazy. Never been so terrified in my life. What is the enemy of progress? The ask of us is to stay here. I was going downtown and writing and I went theater hopping. That was that last clip. Um, saw Nope and Where the, Where the Crawdads Sing. Um, both were pretty good. Nope was a lot better and Where the Crawdads Sing was like that movie that you go with, to, you go see with like your, your family and like they've read the book but you haven't, you know? I didn't get enough footage for like a whole vlog and I was looking at my YouTube channel and I was like I haven't vlogged <laughs> in a while so why not now? Got the coffee and this croissant and some eggs and juice and today I'm intending to be a very chillax kind of day. Um, not that I haven't not been chillaxing, but today's gonna be the most, the most chillaxing. So, this croissant tastes a little stale. So after I finish my breakfast, I think I'm gonna... Why does this croissant taste like... <coughs> <coughs> God didn't even want me to have that. <laughs> but when I finish my breakfast <laughs> and try not to die, um, I'm just going to do a quick little tarot reading to start off the day, and then we'll see what the indoors, indoors. Take it away, Penny. <laughs> that I've never really talked about my tarot on my channel before um, just because it's like not controversial but I don't know people don't really believe in it I guess but it has been very popular in the past like since COVID so I don't know how, what years that is and I've been practicing tarot for like four years, three and a half years, I'd say. Um, and it's just something that I do for myself most of the time. I do, sometimes on Instagram, I'll give like readings if I feel like it, or I'll give readings to my friends or my family. Um, and I just really love the cards and I love getting into people's business um, and just like how they can show me things that I've never really um, I don't think about so like they'll reflect some things that I've been keeping hidden away in the shadows <laughs>
favorite card of all time. I know. lunch break lunch break maybe just gonna write a little bit in the journal and then I'm gonna write my story on my laptop but I just thought that it was so nice outside that I'm just gonna be out here for a minute poor copy of this book so this is my current read and I really love it a lot I feel like I've always been looking for a book like this and um, it's yeah it's really good so far it probably might be one of my favorite books um, it's definitely good, probably gonna be up there on the list just very casually putting that out there but um, just I feel like I'm just gonna take some outside time because I don't like being inside for that long and the weather is so nice right now so I'm just gonna read out here for like an hour, get some inspiration, enjoy the outdoors while it's nice this summer, and um, yeah. change my mind um, we've got um, cousin romance plot here going on and um, I'm gonna say that's a hard no for me I don't really like that And now, a lunch break. So many breaks from taking a break. <laughs> Just decided to make some spaghetti here, which apparently was a big struggle for me. <laughs> And of course, I gotta make sure to drink my water, which has been very important lately. Um, love me my water. And for my spaghetti sauce, I guess, I just put some butter and cayenne pepper in there. And, you know, say what you will, but this is actually a mix that is very delicious. I would highly recommend it. And because I need to be entertained while I eat, I recently started watching, re-watching bits and pieces of Breaking Bad, just for nostalgia's sake, because I remember I used to watch this show so much when I was 14, and you know, it brings back a lot of um, stressful memories, but it's a really good show still, and Jesse Pinkman is still kind of, he's kind of shoddy, I don't know, <laughs> what can I say? I like the, I like the trash ones. Alright, let's get to business now. So, big news that I kind of didn't ever really say on my channel, but 
I finished writing the first draft of my book, yes, and now I'm currently working on getting through the second draft, which has been an interesting process for me because it's a lot different than that first draft just getting it all down just for the sake of having something down and finishing a book. I think I like the second draft better because there's some freedom to edit and I'm giving myself more freedom to look back and edit when I want to instead of just full speed ahead just going for it which was hard writing the first draft because you know I keep wanting to go back and just make everything perfect right but that's not what a first draft is everyone will tell you that so I threw on some Phoebe Bridgers as one does and started working on that second draft But that is the end of today's vlog. It was super chill, <laughs> which I've been liking recently, just finding that balance of living life and then also coming back to coming back home to myself and doing quieter activities, which always brings me a sense of peace. And it's just something as simple as lighting a candle or just sitting in a comfy chair, writing and reading, um, is what really fills my cup, fills my heart. So that is it for the rest of today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all later. Alright, peace out.